All right, today we're just gonna do a brief video experiment here where I was going to compare the magnetism power between the Power Magnets USA magnet and your typical magnet that comes with 3M, Honeywell, all the other like, security players in the industry. What we wanted to have was a magnet that provided more of a tolerance. So if you have like a, let's say an aviation hangar door where the wind might be blowing it a little bit, you don't want that to trigger a false alarm on your security system. So that's where the Power Magnets USA magnet comes extremely handy. Well, if you're just using your typical security door sensor, you don't really have too much room before it'll actually trip the alarm. So let's say you got a, an agricultural shed uh, where the wind's blowing on it and you want to protect that shed this magnet is going to allow more of a tolerance, a little bit more wind blowing, a little bit more resistant to false alarms. So let's do the actual measurements right now. So I'm gonna start with the smaller magnet. This is your typical 3M Honeywell door security sensor magnet. So let's see how far away we have to be to actuate the switch. You can see about right here is the effective sensing distance of this magnet. So let's mark this real quick here. And now let's repeat the same test with the Power Magnets USA magnet. You can see that's about double. Let's measure this just to be sure. This is about double the distance. So we'll get our fancy caliper out here and let's do the measurement. So we have a total of about one, you can see my caliper is magnetized here, about 1.61 inches compared to the Power Magnets USA magnet. We're picking up a, a full 3.1 inches of effective distance. So you can see why that would make a huge difference with your security sensor because if you have the wind blowing and it's going back and forth like this, you don't want that to trip a false alarm. Now let's try doing the same thing with the little guy. You can see once you move this around, it's, that's going to be tripping your security alarm with a false alarm. You don't want that. So this enables you to have a much higher tolerance. See, it has to get all the way back here. And even moving back and forth in the lateral um, direction here, you can see it does not affect the, uh, the switch turning on and off. We have all of this room here, all of this tolerance for, um, to prevent false alarms on our door security sensors, while this one here, you try to move it around and you can see that it does not keep the switch engaged.